Nicki Minaj looks insane in that video. Okay, I don't care what anybody says. It's been a while, guys, hasn't it? Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today I'm sat down to do a little get ready with me. I'm gonna go film a video with my sister, finally. It's been highly requested. So I thought I'd film my little get ready with me. I'm gonna do a bit of like a mask treatment. And yeah, we're just gonna have a little chit chat about a bit, bit of everything, you know? So before I start the video, I just want to do a post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Shalina Rai. So thank you so much for hitting that bell button. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below. I've got a list of stuff that I wanted to talk to you guys. I feel like it's been ages since I sat down. I really did take a step back with everything that's going on in the world and I just feel like we shouldn't stop the conversation. We shouldn't stop the movement. And we just need to keep standing for it and sharing resources well i will definitely be using my platform to do so so if you are following me that will come along with it because i just think it's so important especially in this day and age there's so much wrongdoing going on in this world and i'm going to just try my best to you know share resources on how we can help organizations we just need to do our best you know especially let's say you don't even have a platform i feel like you have an influence on everyone around you, whether that's your family, your friends. So um, just keep the conversation going within your households. I definitely have. You gotta do what you gotta do, okay? So I just wanted to start off with my Foria mask. Oh my God. So I was gifted this, by the way. Um, it was so nice of the team to send me one. And I tried, I've been trying the uh, call it, I think call it a night mask. When I tell you, since I've been using this mask, my skin feels amazing. I mean, I've got an annoying spot here, which is so painful, but it's so good. The mask, the, the Foreo mask, I got the mini UFO 2. It's literally masking on a different level. It feels so good, so relaxing, and it really like deeply penetrates the skin. It warms up, um, and it, I think it's got light therapy, and the masks are so hydrating. I thought I'd do the um make my day one i haven't tried the make my day but i love the call it a night one and i'm definitely going to be practicing more of the mask because even my husband he's just been loving this and we just do it on each other and it's so so relaxing and even his skin has gone silky soft anyway well he has smooth skin anyways but it's extra soft now and mine's definitely more smoother oh and by the way before i start my mask i'm going to be doing a giveaway i'm going to be giving away the look fantastic june box which is actually now out of stock obviously i want to try and do as many giveaways as i can on my channel um, and I'm really excited to be doing this one. I've been absolutely loving my look fantastic um, beauty boxes I definitely do encourage you guys to check it out. The box is so affordable and you get a good value um, worth of products in the box and Yeah, I've been able to discover new products like I'm using some that I got on my in my May box and some that I got in my June box um, and you guys have been loving the unboxing so I'll try and incorporate that in my stories or maybe quickly in some videos if I can. I have a code which will give you some money off on your first box on the 6 month and 12 month subscriptions. Um, and I pay like £13 for my subscription now. I, I got the year one and it's so affordable because you're guaranteed um, that the box is worth over £50. May was around £140. June was um, around, I think, £62. So you get good value for the money you're paying and it's just such a treat. So I definitely recommend you guys checking that out. If you can, subscribing to it because I really love it and it's really affordable. Um, so yeah, I have a code for you guys if, you, if you're interested. Um, and if you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is... Let me know what your favourite go-to skincare product is. I want to know and leave your twitter and instagram handle as well in the comments so i can track you guys because i can't message everyone on youtube it's so annoying um so then i can message you on instagram if you don't have one please make one it's so much easier make sure you're subscribed to my channel like this video i'll put the giveaway rules in the info box and yeah i'm so excited to do another giveaway for you guys but yeah like i've been saying i've been absolutely loving the forum mask so you do need to download the app because you need it to kind of like start the treatment and stuff kind of talks to you and everything um, so i'm just gonna turn it on kind of lights up like this i've got the app on my phone now, i haven't even been asked to share this i felt like i needed to because yes it's definitely an investment but why haven't i had this before um so i'm so grateful they did send it to me but i definitely recommend this to everyone like I'm going to be gifting, like, buying this for a few people because I just feel like everyone needs this in their life. It's so good. Um, so I'm going to do start on the app and then it kind of lights up. And then you can choose your mask. So you can have make my day 
or the call it a night one which is revitalizing nourishing um the make my day ones hydrating anti-pollution and it just looks like this on the app so then when you put star it will tell you to put oh it will tell you to scan the mask like the barcode Secure the ufo activated mask to your device by clipping the attachment ring into place with the 40 logo facing so yeah it literally tells you and talks to you and just guides you basically it's like, like I said, it's skincare at the next level. Um, so I'm going to open the mask. So you just need to place it on the Foreo like so. And then you want to take this and put it on. Push it in. And I like, to, I like to squeeze out all the residue mask from the sachet because there's a lot in there. And then when you press start, it will start to kind of heat up and it has like a red light to it. And it vibrates. Didn't it start? Oh, this one smells nice. It smells different to the night one. So this one's just heating up right now. It's not really vibrating. Maybe the night treatment has more of the vibrations. I mean, this is the first time I, um, I'm trying the day one. Each mask has its own kind of like treatment. Oh, so now it's vibrating. Gosh, it just feels so good, guys. And it just goes on for 90 seconds. I like to do it twice, but I'm not going to do it today. Oh my god, there's a green light. I haven't seen the green light. So yeah, I looked on Cult Beauty and they have so many different ones, so I definitely want to pick some up. And they're actually not that bad, like they're like £10 for 7 um, which I think is quite affordable. And the night one has made my skin feel so good. So yeah, some of them are £20, which again, I don't mind paying that that much for like masks okay it's done now the app gives you an option to repeat the treatment but i'm just going to end it right here so just to prep my lips i'm going to put the dr lip tint in sweet potato been loving this i keep this in my like daily filming bag because it just hydrates the lips so nicely as you guys saw like i've had filmed like my um skincare haul like ages ago i just held back on filming because it just didn't feel right posting at the time also please do watch that video because i'm donating all the adsense revenue from that video to support the black lives matter movement um but i did mention the foot mask not the foot mask like a foot cream the chemistry heel heel chemistry moisturizer that i got from the dcm website by the way i'm just going to use um the avant hyaluronic sweet almond seawater shea butter moisturizer um so yeah it's been working really good like even my husband he hasn't even mentioned my dry ass feet once and i've been using it for like um so for a week now like morning and night sometimes i forget the morning but i can definitely see a difference like i just feel like it's you can see that it's working so yeah like i, I have like soft baby feet now i mean like, it's there's slight dryness but again it hasn't been two weeks i've been using it so next i'm going to use the polar sun lotion this is um spf 50 and i got this in my june beauty box really important to wear your SPF and your lids as well okay next I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty soft silk pro fill to hydrate in primer because we need some primer okay my skin's definitely hydrated right now I'm just going to start off with my brows like I always do and I'm using the Fenty Beauty brow MVP in the shade black brown I mean, my eyebrows need cleaning up for sure. Oh my god, I have the most painful spot on my brow bone. So Benefit actually sent me this um, Gimme Brow set. I don't think you can purchase the set, but they basically have a jumbo size of the Gimme Brow. I'm really tempted to just open that one. And they sent me the shade 5. You guys know I absolutely love um, Benefit brow products. The the normal one is half the size of that, I feel like. Mm. 
I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer to carve these brows out. I'm just going to take some of my foundation to do the top because the concealer is a little bit light. Just to clean it up. My skin is so nicely prepped right now, like it's so soft. And oh my god, so even Look Fantastic sent me some um, shampoo samples to try, and it's called Sebastian Dark Argan Sebastian Salon Dark Argan Oil. I'll link it in the info box, but oh my god, I'm literally buying a full size. It's made such a difference to my hair. A lot. I've finished the sample, and it was quite a big sample size. I think I used it three times. And my, my hair has been so glossy and shiny and it smells amazing. It smells like a deep, uh, spicy men's scent, but I kind of like it. It's unique and the full size are like £20 a bowl. Okay, considering I need to pluck my eyebrows, this is not doing too bad, okay? I'm going to use some of my True Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Sand. We're gonna press this into our eyes. So lately, honestly, I just feel like the world's been going mad. I looked at the news yesterday and I'm seeing far right people going mad in the streets protecting statues and for what reason? Do they even know the history behind that, the statues? Because honestly, before everything, before everything lately, I didn't know. Statues standing around in cities in the UK have been former slave traders. Like, why are they even standing there? And this has been a known issue because people have been trying to sign petitions to get them taken down. And, like, me and my brother, we've been having hours and hours of talks on everything that's just been going on. And I just feel like, I mean, there's bigger issues in the world, right? There's bigger problems. Like, the crisis in Yemen at the moment is in, it's just awful and um, by the way i'll leave some um, organizations that you can donate to because i feel like they definitely need help right now especially especially the children i've read a bit into it and it's just this, like i feel disgusting and i felt sick to my stomach so even like if you can just donate five or ten pounds to these organizations i think like 13 pounds feeds a child like please do help it guys because we actually have money that you know that £10 that you spend in the corner shop? Just donate that to a cause and it can really help someone out there because they do need help. So yeah, there's definitely bigger issues going on at the moment. We shouldn't disregard the fact that these statues were former slave traders. I just think that's insane. Yes, the protesters took it to their own hands to take, the statue, take one of the statues down and throw it in the river. Was anyone hurt? No. We all agree that they shouldn't be standing up there. And also I just think it's so hypocritical that you can have these um, statues standing around as if they're like these heroes and they've just done so much for the country but not teach in school the history of the UK's involvement in slave trade and what they've done and how these people participated and added to these atrocities. I mean, they owned slaves. I mean... I'm shocked. What was his name? And if they're going to be displayed in museums, they should mention that he was a slave trader. And this is what this man did. So the the one in Bristol that was taken down, I think it was Bristol. Yeah, the so the statue in Bristol that was taken down and thrown in the river. I mean, he was part of the RAC, the Royal African Company, which was actually formed by the British royal family. And was and played a role in transporting i think it was like around eighty thousand slaves across the atlantic ocean in which nineteen thousand died on the journey that included men women and children so why on earth is this man standing up there and yes is the law i know people will say the law is there um people shouldn't take it into their own hands i mean they have been trying to by signing petitions so and no one really paid attention to it. Was anyone hurt when it was taken down? I don't think so. Me and my brother, we were just talking about this and we were just saying that we think if if the law's protecting something immoral, well, having a statue of a man who was a former slave trader, the law should be challenged. And I think the people that are gonna challenge the law should be ready to face the consequences that come with it, but it should be challenged because the law is clearly protecting something to 
that to me is wrong and obviously to a lot of people so why shouldn't it not be challenged i think these statues shouldn't be standing around and again if they're going to be put in museums explain their role say that this man was a racist this man was a former slave trader they built countries on the back of slaves there's nothing good there's nothing proud of that they owned people owned people based on their skin color so that's my um my two cents on the situation and i think that it's good that people are fighting and you know trying to get it down and with the protests i'm so against the violence I mean, who is for it? We don't want violence. We need to be focusing on the people who are peacefully protesting. Now, there's a difference when, yes, the protesters are causing drama and, like, you know, riot, like violent riots and stuff. But there's there are videos in the States where the police are literally attacking peaceful protesters. That's a whole other story. We can't say that they're causing, like, the peace peaceful black protesters are causing the violence because they're not. Well, maybe some, maybe a minority of them, but there are the police that are literally attacking peaceful protesters. It's also wrong for these right, far right people. Like yesterday, they literally the Black Lives Matter protests had to be cancelled. Like they're literally like attacking the police, causing fights. I mean, I feel like it's handled very differently. I feel like if it was black people, it would have been handled differently. Let's be honest. Now, this just shows how racist this country still is because all those people came, felt the need to come into London and protect their statues, Viol violently protect their statues. Why? I can't even. Anyways, I'm going to be using the It's All Good ColourPop eyeshadow palette. And I think I'm going to start off with this shade right here. My concealer's creased. It might be controversial, but like, we wouldn't want the statue of Nazi. I mean, it's totally different, but we wouldn't want the statue of Nazi standing around in big cities, would we? So it's kind of like the same thing. These people committed atrocities. They played a part in it. So why are they being glorified on statues? Like, at least teach children what they did in the past. Like, I've been trying to read into everything. With Trump being president, with Brexit, and with all this fight going on with protecting these statues, don't tell me racism is not around, okay? And this is why we need to continue fighting for the movement. And if you don't understand where I'm coming from, read into oppression, that the years of oppression black people have been facing, and read into white supremacy. There's a book called White Fragility, or you want to talk about race. If you don't understand, try to understand and get the read. There's so many resources out there. And if you don't understand, then there's an issue. It's clearly an issue and you need to check yourself. <sighs> it just makes me sad because like, obviously my children will be part black and I, do I really want to bring them to this world of hatred against people because of the color of their skin? That's my um, stupid water filter I'm making noise. I don't know where I'm going on with this look. It just saddens me. It saddens me that kids are literally scared for their lives now. Am I gonna take this shade right here? Oh my god, please ignore my nails. So I did a different colour, like I did extensions with the poly gel. It didn't work out, like it stayed for like two days and then it fell. I spent like three hours doing it. So the poly gel only really works when you press it with the, the nail forms. It doesn't work when you just place it on a nail when you have like, I basically glued tips as you would with acrylics. So I glued the tips in and then I placed the poly gel on top and then cured it and it just stayed for a couple of days and it came off so easily. So that was annoying. What I did is I kept the nail tips and then I put the gel, just normal gel polish. This is Miley cream on top. I really like it. And I get a lot of questions on how I remove the poly gel. When I did my poly gel video, that's, that was so hard to get off. So obviously it works well when you use nail forms. Um, but the only way for me to get that off was to file it down, like literally. There's really pretty glitter in here. I'm gonna use some of my NYX glitter glue. So pretty, it's like holographic even. Place it all over the lid first. Oh, that is so nice. Gosh, that is so pretty. It's not actually shown that well on camera, but it's really nice. And also, you know, another thing that I've been finding so ridiculous is that they want to go get out 
the statue that was thrown in the river but they're not looking into Belly's case, Belly Majingut's case, saying that there's not enough evidence. Shukri Abdi, again, drowned, bullied, bit all over her body, don't want to look into the case but a statue of a racist slave trader pig is chucked into the river and we want to investigate that we want to get the statue out it's just so wrong on so many levels this is why i do feel like petitions play a role like it's good we need to be signing petitions but also make sure you message your mayors your mayors your um, uh, your local mps they will voice their their concerns and issues in the house of commons and in the house of commons that's where um laws are created or talked about a lot a lot goes on in the house of commons basically this is why it's really important i think the shukri abdi's case was in manchester is so important to be emailing and telling your family me members to email um the mp over there to address the school because the school changed their name they just basically wanted to brush this under the rug and we need we will be the ones that will just be like no we're not gonna have this like you're not just gonna brush this under the rug we're gonna email you guys and you, we're gonna keep doing it until you address it and something's done about it do you know what i mean yes petitions aren't really good but emailing taking the time to write to your mps is gonna make a really big difference i'm gonna be using my huda beauty legit lashes mascara i've been literally using this mascara like every day i love it so much guys so i start with the volume I'm not going to put too much because I'm going to wear falsies. I haven't worn falsies in so long. And by the way, my um, contacts are from TDDI. These are Polar Lights Brown. I'll link it in the info box. And then I'm going to go in with a volume. I mean, I don't need to because I'm wearing falsies. Like, when I'm not wearing falsies, then I go really in with this mascara. But it's so good. Like, I like how black it is. I mean, I've done a full review on it. And this, this is definitely a mascara I won't be able to live without. Like, I see myself repurchasing it, repurchasing it. Yes, it's more of a high-end mascara. But it's so good. The lashes I'm going to be wearing is the Huda Beauty Hoodie Lashes. Okay, my lashes are still drying, but I'm really liking this look. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade White 445. I haven't used this one in a very, very long time oh my god i had a mountain spot there it's finally going away i'm just gonna blend this out my with my damp beauty blender now for concealer i'm going to use my kevin aquan sensual skin enhancer concealer in sx11 and honestly you don't need too much of this Blend away. I think this concealer is so beautiful. So next I'm going to take some of my Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in Chocolate. Blend this into our cheeks. Now obviously you can be more heavy handed with this compared to like the Huda Beauty one but I really like how like hydrating this is and the shade of this is so nice for like contouring it just really frames the face and the formula is just really bomb like I like it it's so easy to work with I really like that kind of bronzy I'm going to put a little bit more concealer in some of these areas, just a little bit. I'm also going to take some of the bronze, the cream bronzer and blend that on the sides of my nose. Again, like this bronzer doesn't make my nose dry out. Kind of like soften everything out. my forehead okay then i'm using some of my beauty bakery flower powder in yellow just really press it into the skin then next i'm using some of my physician's formula butter bronze and deep really love this bronzer just 
Pretty blending this in. Well, I can't go without bron not bronzing my neck. I'm gonna brush away any of the excess powder. For a bit of blush, I'm gonna use the Miss Lynn Treat Me Sweet Powder Blush. This is in the shade Love You Peach and Every Day. So I watched um, a new film on Netflix. It was like trending on the top 10 for like number one in the UK. And it's called 365 Days. Oh my God, what the hell did I watch? And I see people on TikTok kind of like fantasizing over the dude. The relationship is so unstable. Okay, that blush is so pretty, I love it. I'm just gonna use that really dark shade underneath. And then we're gonna put some mascara. I'm just going to use this shade right here from the palette as my inner corner highlight. I need some highlight. Before I start my lips, I'm going to use my Il Maquillage Hydrating Setting Spray. This, again, another product that I've liked from them. I don't really like the smell as well. Okay guys, this is the Morphe lip liner in Sugar Pie. If you guys know of any like good lip liners that I need in my life, let me know in the comments below because I'm definitely in need of some because apart from this and my Mac Hawk, like what else do I use? This one's so nice though. It's fluff in my nose. And then finally I'm gonna finish off with my Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade First Kiss. I think I'm going to use like the high inner corner highlight shade as my highlight because I'm just being lazy right now. But we're just going to lightly brush that on the cheeks. Ooh, I basically mixed these two like this 10 out of 10 and happy go lucky. Just a little bit more. My hair's gone so light. I'm kind of liking it. All right, guys, this is the final look. I feel like a human being again like oh my god it feels so good to wear makeup like this after so long if you guys really enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already press the notification bell button so you don't miss any of my videos and if you want more of these chit chat get ready with me videos talking about you know real current situations that are going on in the world right now um let me know in the comments i think it's, i think it's important we, we, we need to know what's going on in the world right yeah thank you so much for watching guys i love you lots and i'll see you in my next one